fifth grade, chapter three, lesson 12. At a track meet, Steven entered the long jump. His jumps were two and 25 hundredths meters, one and 85 hundredths meters, and three and 75 hundredths meters. What was the total distance Steven jumped? Underline the sentence that tells you what you are trying to find. So what are we gonna underline? Um, Circle the numbers you need to use. What numbers are we going to use? Next. And? What operation will you use? So are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Add. Add, so addition. To find decimal sums, you can use properties and mental math, or you can use paper and pencil. First of all, they have 2 and 25 hundredths plus 1 and 81 hundredths plus 3 and 75 hundredths. Then they rewrote that as 2 and 25 hundredths plus 3 and 75 hundredths plus 1 and 81 hundredths. Since they just changed the order, that's called commutative properties, right? Now, they put the parentheses, and what type of property is that? Because they want those things to be associated together and done first, right? So what numbers are we going to write there? 2500 plus 3 and 7500. Okay, so do we deal a lot with quarters? Mm -hmm. Yes, so we know 25 cents plus 75 cents is what, guys? $1. Is one dollar. So we have one dollar plus two. Three. Three. Three plus three is six. six. <coughs> so six would go here. And then we'll just go ahead and put um, two decimal places, right? So then, uh, what is six plus one? Seven. Seven. And then 81 plus 0 is 81 hundredths. That was one way. Another way is just to line up uh, your decimals and then your place values and go ahead and add. So it's the first thing I do when I line up my decimals. Put down my decimals, Put down my decimals before I start adding any of the other place values. 5 plus 1 plus 5 is? Uh, one. 11, so put a 1, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7 is? 18. 18, put an 8, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is? 3. 3, Three plus 1 is? 4. Plus 3 is? 7. So the total distance Stephen jumped was? 1924, William DeHart Hubbard won a gold medal with a long jump of 7 and 44 hundredths meters. In 2000, Ramon Sharinko won the bronze medal with a jump of 8 and 31 hundredths meters. How much longer was Sharinko's jump than Hubbard's? So, in this case, they did what? They just did place value, right? So, what did we do first? Bring down no, our decimal. decimal. We take four from one. No. So this becomes an no. the three becomes a two. Can I take four from two? No. So that becomes a Twelve. and this becomes a seven. Eleven eight. minus four is seven. Twelve minus four is eight. Seven minus seven is zero. So eighty seven hundredths. If we used a calculator, you would get 87 hundredths. So Sharika's jump was 87 hundredths meter longer than Hubbard's. Explain why you cannot use the commutative property or the associative property to find the difference between the two decimals. You cannot. Use commutative property or 
more associative property because why guys? It will uh because the baby only has to be on the open. All right. Because when you subtract You can't. And then she said that you can't put the smaller number on top and the larger number on bottom. So therefore, you can't change the order of your numbers, right? You change the order of your numbers. Four and nineteen hundredths plus fifty eight hundredths. Is there anything here guys that we can kind of correlate together? Any numbers that kind of pop right out at you that can just go right together? No. So what are we going to do here? We're not going to do commutative. We're just going to do the place value method, right? So 4 and 19 hundredths plus 58 hundredths. And when you do that, we have to make sure all of what? Our decimals. Our decimals and our place values are in line. So what do I do first, guys? Bring down my decimal. Bring down my decimal. 9 plus 8 is? 17. Put the 7, carry my 1. 1 plus 1 plus 5 is? 5. And 4 plus 0 is? 4. Now on the next one, can we use the commutative associative property or are we just going to have to use the place value? Place value. <coughs> place value. So 9 and 9900 minus 4 and 1 tenth. So what do I have to make sure of again, guys? Well, I am going to have to do, I am going to have to put a zero to hold my place value, but I'm also going to have to make sure my yes. decimal and place values are in line. So four, decimal one, and then I put a zero to hold my spot. Nine minus zero is? Oh, yep, got to do our decimal first, right? Nine minus zero is? Nine minus one is? Nine minus four is? Five. So five and eighty-nine. Hundreds. Five and seven tenths plus two and twenty five hundredths plus one and three tenths. What do you guys think? Commutative. Okay, so do the commutative associative property. What am I going to put first? Five, five and seven, seven tenths. tenths. Five and seven tenths plus what? One and three tenths. Plus? Plus two and twenty five hundredths. Okay. Then what do I, where do I put my parentheses around, guys? Um, five and seven tenths, one and three tenths. Five and seven tenths plus one and three tenths. Now that I have those parentheses in there, do we go to order of operations? Yes. Yes, so you do the parentheses first, right? So we know seven plus three gets us? Ten. Well, ten, but then that converts into a what on one. here? A one, right? Mm -hmm. So one plus five is? Six. Plus one is seven. So seven plus two and twenty five hundredths equals what? Seven plus two. Nine. Nine and twenty five hundredths. Twenty eight and six tenths minus nine and eighty four hundredths. Hundreds. Are we going to use place value or are we going to use commutative associative property? Place value. Okay, so 28 and 6 tenths minus 9 and 84 hundredths. So we have to remember that everything has to be kept in its place value, right? Each one of those numbers has three digits, but do they have the same place values? No. no. So what do I need to put up here on the top to hold zero. my place? A zero. 
What do I need to do first? Bring down my decimal. Can I break? Can I take four from zero? So this becomes a ten. This becomes a five. Ten minus four is six. Can I take eight from five? No. So this becomes a and this becomes a fifteen minus eight is seven. Can I take nine from seven? No. No. So that seven becomes a seventeen. And this two becomes a seventeen minus nine is eight. Eight. And then bring down my four. So eighteen and seventy six hundred. Fifteen dollars and seventy nine cents plus thirty two dollars and eighty one cents. Am I going to do the place value? Or am I going to do commutative associative property? Place value. Place value. Okay. So fifteen dollars and seventy nine cents plus thirty two dollars and eighty one cents. And what do I need to do when I'm using decimals? Match up the place value. Match up your decimals and your place values, right? What do I do first? Bring down the decimals. Bring down my decimals. 9 plus 1 is 0. zero. Carry the 1. 1 plus 7 plus 8 is 16. 16. So put the 6. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 2 is 8. eight. 1 plus 3 is 4. So $48 again. 16. Okay, once again, we're subtracting. So we already know that we're going to use what kind of work to show what we get our answer with. Place value. Place value. So 38 and 4400 minus 25 and 8600. And we need to make sure we keep what in mind? Decimals. Decimals and the place value. So what do I do first? Bring down the decimal. Can I take six from four? Nope, so this becomes 14. 14, and this 4 becomes a 3. 14 minus 6 is 8. Can I take 8 from 3? No. No, so the 3 becomes 13. 13, and the 8 becomes a 13 minus 8 is 5. Can I take uh, 5 from 7? Yes. Yep, so we're good to go. 7 minus 5 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 5, 1. 1. So 12 and 